Whoever made the mural that was once on this wall is probably pissed off about now because some statues came and uh, blew it up. I don't know how that even worked, but looks like our work is done here. Um, we do need to do one thing before we continue. So apparently we need to switch Barneys because uh, I think this form is actually better. A lot of you guys have been saying in the comments that using a special attacking based one uh, is more beneficial because check it out. We have the punk rock ability on this one, which is hardcore. Boost the power of sound-based moves. Uh, it also takes half damage from these kinds of moves. So I'm assuming we probably learned some type of maybe signature move or even just like boom burst or probably boom burst. That's the only thing I can think of as a sound move. But uh, we're going to stick this one in the box just because, I mean, it, it is a bummer that, you know, we kind of wasted that thing. Getting it a couple levels. But at least now we've decided which to toxicity we want to use and uh, all is well in the world. So, um... I do believe we are done in this city. Not a whole lot going on. We just had a nice little mural shenanigan. And then there's also, and we just had the gym. But other than that, we are headed to the next city, which is going to be an interesting journey, hopefully. So we're going to heal up just to make sure we are looking good. And also, I wonder if you know, I could probably actually buy Ultra Balls now. Look at that team. Team is looking sexy, except for Corvus Squire. I mean, Qfant needs to evolve too. Once. Once everything's evolved, we're going to be powerful. Clear the gym mission at slow, slow on side stadium. Slow on side. Why is it called that? I'm confused. Anyway, let's see if we can buy some Ultra Balls. We cannot. Really? We can get Hyper Potions, though. Still can't get Ultra Balls. Might as well get, like, 10 Hyper Potions, just in case. Spend 15 grand on them bad boys. I really thought we'd be able to. Yo, why do you have snow gear on? My Pokemons are the ones that train. I just dress the part. What do you say? Training on the mountain. What a stoic black belt you are. Mm, yes, stoic. Indeed. Alright, so back on the bicycle. And I believe we're just supposed to go up to the gym and then head to the right. So, always exciting getting to new towns in this game. You never really know what to expect. But now we're headed into the old canyon. So this looks cool. Ooh! Here we have the Glimwood Tangle. And this place looks familiar. Yo, look at those Impidimps right there. So this is, if you weren't paying attention, Pokemon did a live stream on Twitch... Uh, not too long ago, where there was kind of just a static image of this place, where it just like went for like 24 hours. And uh, we did see Galarian Planet. Oh my god, we get to touch the, touch the mushroom. <laughs> that is awesome. What's, what's going on, little Impidimps? Oh, hey, they run and hide. What the hell? Oh wait, there's another one. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Alright, we do... Get to encounter an Impidimp. This thing is super cool. I honestly really like it. A lot of people say that they don't like the design. I think, honestly, it's not too bad. It's level 31. We're going to nuzzle you. We're definitely going to catch you. I think it's mostly just cool because this thing has a unique typing. It is Fairy and Dark type, which is quite an interesting typing. Um, so that I'm interested to see how this thing kind of does in a competitive standpoint. But we're going to catch you. I don't know if I want to use this thing on my team quite yet. I just It's tough for me to switch things out. I don't know what I would get rid of, but I would like to catch it just so we could have the option later. Um, I have seen what this thing evolves into. It actually evolves twice, and it's quite the interesting, uh, <laughs> quite the interesting little guy. So we'll see if a great ball will do it. We do actually have a couple Ultra Balls that we found on uh, the desert route, so I guess we could use those. Let's let's check them out. Our only three Ultra Balls. Why did they allow us to find some on the ground, but we can't buy Ultra Balls? What the hell? I'm upset. At least hopefully this works. We could save a couple. And we do get it. Nice. Impidimp has been caught. So let's take a look at this guy's Pokedex entry. I don't really know much about Impidimp, but he's a little prankster. He does, he does get the prankster ability. At least his evolved form does. Anyway. Dark and fairy type. Through its nose, it sucks the emanations produced by people and Pokemon when they feel annoyed. It thrives off this negative energy. <laughs> this thing is literally... Vibe checking everybody. You know what? Oop, not F. We're going to go ahead and name you Vibes. Thrives off the bad vibes. So <laughs> that's... That is interesting. We're just going to send you to the box. Not going to use you for now. But we got ourselves a little impidimp. So that's kind of cool. Also, I wonder what... Is just in the grass over here. We have a... Ooh, that is a new thing. A hat trim. I have no idea what you are. Level 36? Holy shit, we're gonna nuzzle ya. We, we have seen Hatrim. Hatrim was, um... Freaking bead had a Hatrim, totally. I, I get confused 
between these and the, the milk milk cream thing i don't oh yep sidebeam knocks us down to one wow that was surprising just straight up comes with sidebeam built into this bad boy um let's just go into dumbo for now let's try to catch this thing i would like to would like to add you to the box just in case we want to use you later and yeah that's totally definitely the thing that we saw it's gonna aromatherapy you bastard yeah, Bead sent this thing out, and I, I was like, what, what is going on here? What is this thing? We're just going to bulldoze you. Level 36, man, you can catch some stuff and just add it straight to the team, and it'll just be right in fighting shape. This thing actually does some solid damage. Resisted hit. It's definitely got some levels on us. Yo, that did absolutely nothing. I thought since it was going to stay par- I was hoping it was going to stay paralyzed so we'd be able to freaking just start hucking some balls. It's now going to heal pulse? Wow, that is the nicest thing anybody's ever done for me. <laughs> Thank you for that. All right, so we're getting into yellow. We should probably whittle you down a little bit more. As long as you keep heal pulsing me after you side beam, you can stick around, Hatrim. This thing's design looked a little bit looked, looked different. Why, why was I not familiar with you? Well, all right, Hatrim. We're just going to try to catch you now because I'm afraid we're just going to kill you. So let's go ahead and let's actually just use an Ultra Ball. Might as well. We have two of these left. Used one on Impidimp. Not sure if this is even a good Pokemon. Oh man, this did not even shake. You should have. Nah, it's gonna side beam, so it's not gonna heal me, which is a bummer. We could we could just actually stomp it, which would get it into red, which I really should probably do. But we're just gonna go ahead and gamble and toss another Ultra Ball at it, because why the heck not? I feel like there's gonna be a lot of stuff we want to catch in this route. Damn it! That's gonna aromatherapy. All right, it is gonna fail. Let's try and hope that it doesn't kill us here. Let's stomp it. Dazzling Gleam. Is this very psychic? That's yeah, gonna kill Dumbo. Bruh. How could you kill the most adorable elephant? All right, well, we have to use next Pokemon. We obviously have to catch this thing. Um, we could go into, how do we not kill this? I mean, I guess we could like rock smash it with Chiding. And we're gonna take a lot of damage if we do that, but we probably should do it. The catch rate seems a little bit ridiculous, but we're gonna try. Let's just uh, rock smash you. Level 36. It's even hot. Why are you such a high level, Hatrim? Perfect. Knocks it down right into range. Dazzling Gleam is going to do a shit ton of damage. Uh, but we have revives. It's going gonna, it's gonna to kill Farfetch'd if we don't switch. Let's go into Dexter. Just so now we can freely huck balls and stuff. But this thing hits super hard. So, I mean, we're going to need to potion up pretty much the entire team after this one. Here's our sexy Slim Lizard. I honestly really like... I, I prefer Sobble over how this thing ends up looking in the end so not my favorite of the final evolutions which is a bummer but we still love our Inteleon it's still kind of cool it's a cool concept at least yes yes yeah all right Hatrim is ours so now we at least know where B got his I guess let's take a look at this thing. Trying to learn Defog. We're gonna not let Shading do that because we don't really need Defog for an in-game team. But this is adorable little Hatchum. This is Psychic Titan. No matter who you are, if you bring strong emotions near this Pokemon, it will silence you violently. It will silence you violently. Jesus. I don't think we're gonna give you a nickname because I don't know what I would. I don't know what I want to name you. Also, I don't think I'm gonna end up using it. I just really wanted to catch you. So at least we, we have it. So. Spent a lot of time catching a Hatrim. We're not even, we haven't even taken us too many steps into this damn forest. Let me give you some double super potions. Give one to Chiding. And we should also, oops, should also use a revive on our poor little elephant buddy. I'm sorry, I hurt you, Dumbo. Also, maybe we'll put Dumbo in front. Because Barney's at level 30 and not really going to be too helpful. We have like no good attacking moves. Maybe we'll just wait until that thing learns something else, to be honest. It's going to be really good once we get a new move, I'm, I'm hoping. But Dumbo is in front. And let's see what else this place has to offer. So we can go left or right. I just like touching the mushrooms, though. <laughs> this reminds me of uh, Avatar. Crazy-ass mushrooms. Hey, what are you doing here, buddy? This guy's like, hey, wait, this isn't my fucking kitchen. How the hell did I get here? I ate the wrong kind of mushrooms. <laughs> Cook Derek is just chilling. He's got a milkery. Mil milsery. I, I'm just going to call you Milkery because you're milk. You're milk to me now. And, uh... Level 33. 
What type even is, even is this thing? Two bulldozers are going to do the trick. You're going to attract me. Damn it. How could you not fall in love with my little elephant, though? I don't blame you, to be honest. So hopefully we can not be immobilized by love here. Come on, QFAT. You're stronger than that, buddy. And yeah, we do break through and get the bulldoze off. Nice. So down goes the little milky fella. What a weird, what a weird Pokemon. I guess it makes sense that the chef has it, but... Dexter goes to 36. Next is Sinistee. Nice. We have not seen one of these things yet. This is the pre-evolution of uh, Poltegeist. It is a haunted teacup, and this thing is precious. I don't remember what type you are. I'm assuming you're just a ghost. I, I don't really know for sure. But we're going to bulldoze you. does about half. And, ooh, it's got weak armor, which is actually good for us. Makes sense because it's a fragile ass teacup. So, weak armor is definitely fitting. And now that's going to allow Bulldoze to just kill you. We do have to take an Astonish, though, so that's fine. Turns around and spooks us. But another Bulldoze is going to do the trick. Really wish we could just get Earthquake. Also, what level is my freaking Q-Fan going to evolve? It's going to be a beast when it finally does. Barney grows to 31 there. Nice. Along with Dumbo, 33. Next is a Shenotic. Okay, so this is actually something we could use Barney for. Uh, Shenotic is a fairy grass type, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. I could, I'm pretty sure. Which means it absolutely hates poison type moves. So that is what we're going to go for. I mean, we only really have acid. We can't use belch. Because I don't have a berry that I can eat. So we're just going to go ahead and acid you. Great place to use acid in this forest. <laughs> and that's going to be a dead Shenotic. What a fitting Pokemon for in here too. He's like, I'm with my mushroom brethren. Tootsie's going to grow to 36. Very nice. Hey, a strong trainer. That's rarer than rare mushrooms. Get $4,000. And, uh, alrighty. So, what is going on in this grass over here? Doesn't seem like a whole lot. I guess we just loop around. Which then takes us over to a bag of bright powder. Held by a Pokemon, cast a tricky glare that allows, or that lowers the opposing Pokemon's accuracy. So, actually pretty decent in getting things to miss. Let's run into something else here. What do Oh, shit, is the evolved form of uh, our little troll buddy. That's actually kind of cool. Morgrim, level 35. I I don't think I want to catch this thing. We could just evolve. We could just evolve our Impidimp if we do decide to use that thing. I feel like it, we'd probably just have to huck some Pokeballs for quite some time. And I just want to progress in this forest, man. we got to explore this damn place. It is an Impidimp right there. They're always behind the mushrooms, which is cool. And another one. There's just more Grims all over the place. I thought maybe that was a rare encounter, but... Also, apparently Impidimp evolves relatively soon. This thing, level 36, sweet Jesus. These things are powerful. I'm probably a little underleveled, to be honest. I'd rather be underleveled than overleveled, so that's a good thing, but... Got ourselves two full heals here. Two of them bad boys. The music is like straight up Harry Potter in here. Also, we got a big root, which is cool. Let's see what else is in the grass. There's gotta be something else. And it's a Shenotic, okay. The scariest thing ever. Look at the absolutely dead in the eyes. Shenotic has no business being that scary. Luckily, Qfant can actually run from stuff. Good job. Get them legs working. Alright, so we got ourselves a double battle here, which is cool. And uh, we'll probably just leave, leave it how it's looking. Unless we can battle you individually, which I doubt. The railways are amazing. They can carry lots of people and Pokemon at once. You know, now that you mention it, I haven't used the railways in a long ass time. We only really used them right in the beginning. Not sure if there's really much use for that. We can literally just use the, our Pokemon to fly. Nine tails and a Curlia. So quite the combo you guys got going there, which is actually gonna trace me. Gets my sheer force. Don't know if you're gonna be able to benefit from that. But let's go ahead and not bulldoze because it's going to kill Nugget. So we'll actually just stomp the Curlia. And then we can Rock Blast, which will definitely kill the Ninetales. The Ninetales is going to incinerate, uh, which freaking... Hey, Dumbo lived it. Watch, now we're probably going to actually get target. Oh my god, we missed the Rock Blast too. Don't hit Dumbo. Yes. Why is Rock Blast always freaking missing, man? We do get a stomp off. I really should have just switched Qfant out. Yo, that stomp. Critical hit just destroyed the Gurlia. That makes up for our Rock Blast miss. That would have been an easy-ass battle if we missed that. Damn it. Nugget grows to 36. 
And uh, it is time to actually just switch you out because Ninetales is going to destroy us. So let's go into Dexter instead. And then hopefully this time we can just land a Rock Blast. Please. We love us some Ninetales and it pains me to have to Rock Blast you. But the deed has to be done. Going to incinerate yet again. And uh, did that second lady just reappear again? Were you not just gone a second ago? We need to make sure we hit three times at least. Come on. Not just twice? Yeah. Thank you very much. Colossal. Alright. Down goes the nine tails. I really hope this is actually like a long forest, because I, I love this place. I want to spend as much time in here as possible, damn it. Couple has been defeated. A good way to forget the trouble of this loss would be to ride the train. This guy is obsessed with the train. Too strong. Guess I'll look for someone I can actually beat. I thought for a second she was gonna say, I guess I'll look for a new partner. <laughs> you can come and date me, baby. We actually win battles over here. And we're actually going to Hyper Potion you. Actually, I guess we don't even need to. We might as well. Kind of a little bit of... Oh, fuck it. We got lots of money. We're, we're fine. Alright. Let's run into another thing. I feel like I don't want to miss out on encounters. Just more Shenotics, though. Kind of weirds me out when you open your mouth, though. So go ahead and don't ever do that again, Shenotic. Let me run from you. Is there anything that happens when we touch these, or does it... Like maybe it spawns encounters sometimes? I, I doubt it. Probably just a cool little feature. It does brighten things up a little bit, which is kind of cool. What do we have going on over here? Ooh, we got a TM. It is TM24 for Snore, which it seems like we have not gotten any damn good TMs. What is up with that? What's up with that? Super eerie in this place. Got ourselves an item. Two Hyper Potions, which is nice. Also, there's a hidden item there, but there's a ledge, so we cannot freaking go up there. How do I... Hello? What's up, lady? Some mushrooms react in interesting ways when you touch them. Basically saying, hey, go up to these things and press A, because we spent a lot of damn time on <laughs> the animations. Madam Judy's got an NDD. Whoa, it's that thing. We have seen... I don't know if we've battled against one of these things. NDD. We have seen you in, like, the overworld, though. It's got a disarming voice. I think this is kind of like the Chansey or Audino of this generation. It looks just like Audino. It could be a damn Galarian Audino. Uh, but it's going to take a couple of these bulldozers to do the trick. Probably just near a little bit, a little bit of a bulky boy. This lad is thick. Mm -mm -mm -mm. One more is going to do it. And uh, I'm assuming we're going to get a lot of experience for these things for some reason. For anything like... Uh, Chansey. Actually, Blissey just gives you a ton. Alright. In go down goes the D Indeedee, which is a hilarious name. Your name is Indeedy. Barney is going to grow a level there, along with Dumbo. Barney wants to learn Toxic. So, kind of catching up to the last one that we had. We're just going to get rid of... Let's just get rid of Belch. We're not going to use Belch, I don't think, anytime soon. It's more of a, I guess, a competitive strat. Uh, being able to use berries is kind of a little bit annoying. Next is another Indeedee. So you know what? Just so that we can kill you quickly. Let's go into Tootsie, who I'm hoping freaking evolves at like 38 or something, which it seems like it would. We need Corviknight, because we need the best steel freaking bird. Right now we're looking pretty basic. Interesting sparkles this thing had as it got switched out. Does every Pokemon do that? It's now going to Psybeam. Also, I did actually learn about um, some different shiny Pokemon today. Apparently, there's two types of shiny Pokemon. Some of them you send out and they have their normal stars. But then some Pokemon, shiny Pokemon you send out into battle and they actually come out with like squares. And people are saying that the square ones are super rare. So if you guys have any square shiny Pokemon, let me know. I'm not really sure too much of the details on it, but I, all I know is there's different kinds of shiny Pokemon now. Not really in terms of color, just in, like, the sparkles that come off of them, which is actually very interesting, so. Hey! I did not expect this to happen this early. Qfant is freaking evolving. So that is amazing. Hopefully it just evolves once. Yep. This lad is an absolute unit. I really like this thing's design. Copperaja? I don't know what how you're supposed to really pr pronounce your name, but I love this thing so much. Nice, it's just steel. Came over from another region long ago and worked together with humans. Their green skin is resistant to water. Well, 
We're also learning a new move here, learning Heavy Slam. Nice. So we actually get ourselves a decent um, steel move, which is cool, depending on how heavy we are. Let's go ahead and get rid of probably Rock Smash. I mean, Stomp doesn't have any coverage. Actually, would have been better to probably keep Rock Smash now that I think about it. But the deed has been done. Now we have Heavy Slam. So basically just going to be using Heavy Slam and Bulldoze. So let's take a look at this thing now that it's evolved. What kind of ability are we working with here? Just sheer force. Keeps the sheer force, which is cool. I really like this thing. Dumbo, we gotta keep you in front for a little bit, just because you are interesting. And, oh shit, there was a... There was one of these things up on the ledge over there, too. Morgrim, get out of my face. Dumbo, you are so badass looking. Absolutely massive, too. Yo, this one is level 38. My god, this Morgrim is a beast. Wild level 38s. That is... That is insane. Um, so we hop. Oh shit! I hopped down the wrong. I hopped down the wrong thing. Oops. Looks like we gotta go through again, because <laughs> there was a little sparkly boy right here. We're gonna snag you, Luminous Moss. I don't be held by a Pokemon boost special defense if the holder is hit with a Water type attack. Only can be used once. So that's actually kind of interesting. We always like to see some new items. Next, we find TM56 for a U-turn, which is kind of cool. Definitely a usable TM there. Uh, I guess we're supposed to hop down now. And now we can head up this way. Also, we should probably heal up our new copper boy. Actually, no, we're uh, just kidding. I thought, we, I thought we were lower than we were. Ooh. Cinematics. This game is beautiful, honestly. My god. So, this is Ballinley. Ballinley. A little freaking fairy town. This is awesome. What do we have here? These mushrooms are ridiculous. I want to live in this place. What a beautiful town. I'm glad I didn't heal because uh, we have arrived at the Poke Center. We'll get a little heal going in case we have some uh, hop shenanigans or we have to battle bead. You never know around these parts. Now the team is looking just a little bit more powerful. If we could get, if we could just get Corviknight, I would be so happy. Now that I think about it, let's actually, let's put Tootsie in front for now. Uh, Elephant Boy's only level 34, but yeah, we'll probably, we'll be alright. I want, I want Tootsie to get some damn levels. It's grinding my gears how we haven't freaking evolved yet. What's up? Every time I meet Granny Opal, she tells me I should wear more pink. The old bat. <laughs> the old bat. Fuga. I'm a Pokemon. Have a battle with me. What? Listen for a second. Scorbunny and Sizzlipede are different species, but they're still both Pokemon. Scorbunny and I are different species, just like Sizzlipede and I are different too. If you think about it in that in that way, there's no problem with calling me a Pokemon. I don't mind. This guy, what? Don't have to worry about me. Even I know it's pretty lofty logic. This guy's... Uh, well, good luck with that. <laughs> I've got it. A change of fashion style could change the way I feel too. Basically, if I can make myself feel the way a Pokemon does, be like I became a Pokemon, don't you think? Would you please put on some clothes with a fiery spirit that embodies my burning feelings? Mm, interesting. We gotta put on some different clothes and then... Also, there's a Morlo up on top of that one. Weird. I don't know what that guy does if we change our clothes. Maybe we'll come back to that at some point later, but... Finding your way through Glimwood Tangle is a fair sight easier. If you give the mushrooms a little nudge to light them up. Yeah, I guess it does kind of just light the way, I guess, but... Opal has been a gym leader for a long, long time. So that's the old lady that uh, kind of creeped up on us last time. So I guess we'll be able to battle her. And I'm excited to see what she's got for us. Yeah, this little girl's just chilling on the rock. Everybody seems so happy in this place. Also kind of smoked out, but look at you. Defeated Stowansides gym leader, eh? You probably know your way around a TM like this one. All right, nice. They give us TM77 for Hex, which I believe does more damage if the opponent is poisoned. Uh, it does massive damage to a targeted target affected by status conditions, so it doesn't matter what status. So Hex is actually a good move. Evolution is a bit tricky for Pokemon trainers. If a Pokemon evolves, it'll get stronger, but its appearance will change. Want to know how to make your Pokemon stronger without evolving? Uh, yeah. Teach you while battling. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Alright. She probably is gonna give us the Eviolite item, if I had it. If I had to guess. She's gonna lead off with a Dotler, uh, which is actually an early route bug that we really, really never encountered very much. I uh, like it all. It, it's, uh, I forget what the pre-evolution of this thing is even called, but Dotler is actually, it evolves into that ladybug thing we did see in the wild area that one time, but we just have not seen a lot of these damn things. 
It is going to reflect, so I don't know if this thing's holding EV light, but it doesn't get that reflect up. Still should, uh, should die from this drill pack. Nah, right there's a dead lot dotler. I like how his, uh, I like how his dots actually light up, though. That's kind of cool. Alright, so a breeder has been defeated. Didn't expect you to be able to breach Dotler's solidity. Solidity, huh? That's a, that's a good word. Even though my Dotler hasn't evolved yet, it was hard to take down, wasn't it? Secret is it's Eevee Light, yep. So the Eevee Light is an item you put on a Pokemon that still has yet to evolve. Raises both its defense and its special defense, which is actually a great item for a lot of Pokemon. You can make it uh, much more bulky. So... I guess really all there is to... Oh, no, there's a different route over this way. Hold up. Or a different area. There's a Chinchow on top. What are you doing up there, little buddy? There's also a TM here. It is TM21 for rest, which is kind of cool. We will snag you. Probably not going to be using rest a whole lot. Oh, man, there's a hidden item right here. It's a Balm Mushroom. What is a Balm Mushroom? Is that a... Can we use that as medicine? Probably not. We have so many new items. Also, we have two rare candies I could definitely be using. So many items so far. <laughs> I have a lot of those feathers as well. Heavy duty boots. I forgot that we even had that. Prevent the effects of traps set on the battlefield. You can actually give those to a Pokemon and you don't have to take damage from like stealth rocks or spikes or anything like that, which is actually pretty cool. I meant to look at that mushroom, but now I'm, in ca I'm captivated by this damn gym. So it looks like there's really nothing else for us to do. Oh, there's a Phantom flying by. The little details in this game are definitely what makes it great. I, I really like that. So I guess we're just going to head on in. What is happening in here? Assuming we're going to get prompted by, like, somebody. Yep. Hey. Hey, this is our homegirl, Marnie. With her more Pico. Hmm, you got four gym badges already. I'm going to have to watch out for you, huh? More Pico says, yep, this guy's scary. Look, even more Picos wear it. Yeah, see? I called it. Don't tell me you actually like Hayden. What? We've already had a serious battle with him. He's an opposing gym challenger. Guess there's nothing, uh, nothing to it. Look, just take one of my league cards, okay? Oh, she I think she likes us. She's giving us one of her league cards. That definitely means she likes us. Which is great. What's that look, huh? That means I'll think of you as my rival from now on, okay? Aren't many too aren't too many gym challengers left, you know? So we're meeting in the finals. You got that? I'm excited to have to battle her uh, in the finals, which should be fun. So it looks like are we just about to have to take on the gym? So many This guy gives us a love ball this time. Really just flying through the gyms these days. Do I want to just go right for it? I'm scared. We gotta make sure there's nothing else for me in this place. Which I don't think there is. I mean, there's really nowhere else we could freaking go. So, we literally just head right through that forest. Oh my god, there's Inkes. I didn't even notice you guys before. They were probably here. Um, so, it seems like Dumbo and Heavy Slam are gonna be useful for us. We're gonna get rid of... Sorry, Tootsie. We're switching, yeah. As much as I want to just grow your levels, we'll just let you get some EXP from the old EXP share. You'll evolve one of these days, but let's put uh, Copperage on front. And let's head into here. What's up? Gym Challenger, would you like to challenge our gym? I sure would. Then please change into your uniform. So it looks like we're going right into it's a serious examination. Ooh, we're about to take an exam. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid. I hate exams. That uniform looks good on you. Now, relax, clear your mind, go break a leg. So hopefully we don't actually break a leg, but it gives us some good luck. Alright, so interesting little logo we got going on here. What is up, Opal? Scariest old lady, man. Ah, there you are, my dear gym challenger. Though you're really lacking in the color pink. See, I'm looking for a successor to take on the role of gym leader here. So my gym's mission serves as an audition of sorts, too. Don't worry, it's simple enough. All you need to do is battle my trainers and answer the questions they ask along the way. Think carefully before answering, answering though, child. So, just one of these uh, one of these quiz gyms. I want you to go all out. Show me what you can do. Don't worry. I'm a damn genius. Probably going to be some interesting questions, though. So I'm excited to see what they got for us. Let the gym mission begin. Battle with all your skill. Alright, so the whistle has blown and it's time to take our test. Apparently, look at she's even sitting there with the at the table. All right, okay. Time to start your audition to see if you're worthy of becoming the fairy type gym leader. All right, let's do it. So, gym trainer Annette here. What do you got for me? She got a spritzy. And uh, we're just gonna heavy slam literally everything. Dumbo is hopefully gonna carry us through this gym. 
Uh, so Spritzy, just the absolute ugliest Pokemon of all time. Not only that, but its evolution is actually uglier, so maybe not of all time. Heavy Slam absolutely destroys you because I'm a heavy boy. Some solid experience. Next is a Slurpuff. All right, I I hate Slurpuff too. Honestly, a lot of these um, Gen 6 fairies are freaking annoying. Did you know about fairy types weaknesses? I sure do. Oh, I accidentally just mashed A, but yet poison type is correct, so. <laughs> you gonna attack in a special attack raise? Was that, was that because we got the answer right? It's gonna energy ball us. Every time I see Slurpuff, I'm always just thinking this thing's gonna freaking belly drum citrus berry and then unburden sweep my whole damn team with drain punch, but we don't have to worry about this one as a heavy slam is gonna knock your ass, knock your ass out in one hit, so. Actually glad that we didn't grow too many levels in that last forest. Because it's looking like we're actually pretty set up here. Levels all around. Tootsie 37. Nice. We're getting there, Tootsie Pop. If you stand your ground with everything you got, doesn't matter what's right or wrong. Great advice. Great advice. I see. I can't say what Miss Opal will think. But you've at least piqued my interest. Very nice. Alright, what else you got for me? So next quiz. You have to answer a mid-battle, which is kind of cool. I'm the second trainer. Don't worry about the last question. Let's keep moving forward. All right, let's do it. See if you have any cooler fairy types for me. So you got a Swirlix. I think I just don't like a lot of the fairy type Pokemon. I don't know what it is about this damn cotton candy. But Swirlix, you're annoying. So we can just heavy slam you. Easily gonna destroy you. And our only downfall is that Dumbo is slower. But imagine getting landed on by this absolute unit of a freaking elephant. That is some dead cotton candy. And one down. Next is an Aromatisse. This thing might be one of my top five most hated Pokemon ever. What are you? Freaking, okay, question. What was the previous trainer's name? Ooh, Annette. <laughs> yes, Annetta. I've never heard of an Annetta. Uh, so we get our, get our speed boost this time, and now we can just absolutely heavy slam the shit out of you too. I hope you die a painful death, Aromatisse. Basically just out here one hit KOing everything. That's a critical hit, but I don't think that mattered. Level 34, you're not too bulky. So Heavy Slam just out here doing the damn thing. Dumbo grows a level, so does Nugget. Look at all of the experience. Nugget wants to learn Stealth Rock. Uh, that actually might be decent, but I think we're going to... I mean, I never use Ancient Power considering we have... Yeah, I guess it's not that much higher. We're going to give up on Stealth Rock. We could always go back to the move relearner if we do want Stealth Rock, but not going to be... I never end up using Entry Hazard as in, you know, playthroughs of games, so I think we're okay. Don't worry about right or wrong, just keep moving forward. That is the motto. I'm assuming we have, like, one more trainer. Seems like we got to this gym battle really quick. I'm next, if you think you have what it takes to become the fairy-type gym leader. I don't really want it, like, what if that's, this is the end of the game? You beat Opal, and then you just become the gym leader, and then that's your life now. You got a Morgram, so, okay. I figured we'd probably see some of these little fellas. And I bet you, Opal has the fully evolved form of this thing, which would be kind of scary. Dude, we wouldn't think, though, weird-looking old lady has just, like, the scariest troll thing ever. Question, what do I eat for breakfast every morning? Curry or omelets? We're gonna say curry, because everybody's all about curry. Ah, she actually prefers omelet. Omelets. <laughs> what the fuck? That's actually gonna lower our defense and special defense, which is dumb. Now it's gonna false surrender. What is that? Whoa, so that's a new move. I should have went with omelets because I didn't think anybody would ever have curry for breakfast, but <laughs> it was worth a try, since curry is the only food in this damn game, pretty much. So down goes the Morgrim. Barney's gonna grow a level, looking nice. Level 33, we're getting you up there, friend. And a Gardevoir, so, okay. This is actually a fairy type that I like. So, you can hang out with us, Gardevoir. We are kinda low on Heavy Slam PP, we should probably Oh, we're actually just going to die to that, so that hurts. An absolute bummer, but this does give us an opportunity to go into Tootsie to get some solid experience. going to take definitely a couple drill pecks, and uh, this thing's going to do some solid damage to us, but we'll see how we can do. Make it two nervous teat berries, which I don't think is ever going to come in handy. So this thing is faster, Dazzling Gleam does over half, so freaking ouch. All right. This is not good. I thought I was going to be faster, but apparently not. Damn. Should probably switch, 
but I do not really have much for this thing. Dazzling Gleam, we could bring in Barney, but then we just take a... We would just take a psychic move, and that's that is not the business. So we're gonna go we're gonna go to Nugget because I think you're bulky enough to be able to do it here, buddy. Just more dazzling gleams. Might have a little bit trouble, a little bit of trouble in this gem. I don't know if it's gonna be much, but could be scary. Come on, Nugget, eat it up, buddy. Yeah. And Rock Blast is gonna do it. So, down goes the Gardevoir, level 35, boy. Does that mean the gym leader's gonna have, like, 38? We shall see. Theodora. I play a strong trainer. I'm a method actor, so I became a trainer in real life, too. Great method acting job, lady. We should be focusing on the gym challenge, but Miss Opal instead insisted on making this an audition. Alright, have I have I passed the audition? Do I have to do I have to battle you now? Or do we get another Okay, that's that's the last of the of those people. We don't even, we don't even look over at her. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. So I assume we're gonna go ahead and heal up now. Let's check how many Um We need to revive you because you're dead as hell, Dumbo. Sorry about that, little buddy. Actually a very large buddy. And I guess we're gonna get, we might as well get everybody up to full. We're just gonna use all these super potions. You hate to do it for like 10 HP, but it had to be done. And Tootsie, that's actually good enough for you. All right, what are we looking like on heavy slams here? We have five left, which is probably good enough. I think we'll be all right. Congratulations, you've successfully completed the gym mission. Now I wonder if you've met the standards of the gym leader. Would you like to immediately challenge the gym leader? Challenger Hayden. Um, I'm just gonna say, yeah, we definitely could have gone back and healed and then gotten all of our all of our PP back, but I think we'll be all right. So let's actually switch. We're not gonna lead off with Dumbo, because I want to save you for after. So let's go ahead and uh, let's lead with Dexter. We have a nice little neutral matchup. We'll be able to do some decent damage depending on what she's got. So we got the big old stadium, and the time has come. For yet another gym battle. We are just ripping through the gyms. That nose is about to poke somebody's eye out, though. What's up, lady? Are you dead? No, she's alive. I suppose it's a bit late to introduce myself, but I'm Opal, the gym leader. Got a good luck at how you handled those quizzes. Last part of the mission is me. Let me have a look at how you and your partner Pokemon behave. So, gym battle number five. Let's hope that I'm prepared enough for this. Just gonna slowly walk over there with her little umbrella cane. Let's get it. She bougie as hell. This is Opal. Yo, and this battle music slaps though. She has a wheezing, so she doesn't have the Galarian wheezing. Which is cool. This is our first time actually seeing this thing. Super interesting. Alright. So. We're just gonna go right for a water pledge here. Um, Weezing without the best special defense should do a decent amount. Yep, nice little two-hit KO for us. Gonna sludge us. Ooh, it's actually got a cool little, uh, it's Doug Dimadum over here actually does shoot it kind of out of his, you know, my nickname? Oh, fuck, I accidentally clicked A too quickly. I probably would have just selected that anyway. Yo, we gotta do, we gotta do quizzes in this battle? That is not fair. Now we gotta, we're gonna be slower. No, actually, just kidding. We're faster. I just literally mashed A too quick. I didn't see what the even, the options even were. <laughs> I don't know what your nickname is, lady. What do you think I am? Alright, next is Mawile. Uh, so for Mawile, actually, we could go into Nugget for that thing. I kind of want to switch because our speed drop. Um, we might as well actually just bring in Dumbo, to be honest. We could get, we could get some decent bulldozers. I thought Nugget... Eh. Nugget will be good here. We want to save Dumbo. Um, Nugget at level 37 should be should be good against this Mawile. So let's see how this goes. He's got a neutral. Uh, gonna be able to do neutral with um, Flame Charge. So level 36 Mawile. We got a level on you. Unfortunately, we do get intimidated, which is annoying. Weird little banana thing over here. We could Tar Shot it and then Flame Charge it. But since we're intimidated, it's not, we're just going to see how much it's going to do. So it is going to crunch us. Look at how damn bulky we are. We do not care about your crunch. So that's going to do a decent amount. We get that speed boost. Are we faster now? 
Without that Intimidate, it would have been a two-hit KO. But we are faster, and one more after this should do the trick. As long as you don't heal, Opal. As long as you don't heal. But, what is my favorite color? Definitely pink. She said not enough pink earlier. That's what I like to see in other people, but it's not what I like for myself. Oh. Ah. What the hell? I've been fucking bamboozled. <laughs> I'm just gonna answer randomly. That was a trick question. You dick. Well, my while is gonna go down to that. <laughs> that was actually pretty funny. Goes to level 38, Dexter 38, and Tootsie 38 as well. Look at 38s all around. Dexter wants to learn liquidation, which is a great physical water move. Um, we actually have way higher special attack, though. I, it's a shame, but we're not gonna learn that. If we were a physical based one, I guess that would have been decent, but. Alright, what is next? A Togekiss, which is spooky. Um, we're intimidated. Uh, for Togekiss, we could go f we could go into Barney, we could nuzzle it and get some decent damage with acids. Probably gonna be able to do a lot to us. We're only level 33, but let's let's test it out here. I wanna just kinda spread the love here. We might as well. I think we'll be decent. We'll we'll be alright in this gym battle, so. We'll bring out the old Barney. And she got the Togekiss. So, good to see our boy Togekiss here. Fat-ass turkey. I'm just kidding. I always call this thing a turkey as a joke. Ancient power. Please just don't get the stat boost. And it actually throws fossils at us, which is something I never noticed. Oh my god, it did get the stat boost. What the hell are the odds, man? Every time someone uses that, I, they always get it. What the fuck? Well, so luckily, though, we do get the poison, which is going to help us out here quite a bit. But with that snap boost, we're going to be able to do even less with acid than we would have. <laughs> so it's still faster because it got a speed boost even though it's paralyzed. Ouch. This is not fair. Alright, that acid does nothing. We're going to need to switch out of here. We're going to predict the ancient power. We're going to go right back into Young Nuggets. Not going to take much damage. And then Rock Blast should be able to do a bunch. You can ask, you can ask me another quiz question. A little bit of a lag there. Yep, does Ancient Power. Unfortunately, does not get freaking paralyzed. Why are you like this? Question. I'll write it in. How old am I? 16 or 88? We're going to say 88. You're not wrong, but you could have been a little more sensitive. What the hell? Drops my attack and special attack. That is not fair. Um, to be honest, I thought I was going to take that Ancient Power a little bit better. But I don't know why I would have thought that. So we're just going to click Rock Blast here. Um, it is still faster. Ancient power. Is this going to freaking kill me? I think this is going to kill me. I'm stupid. Should not have, should not have switched into Nugget. I, that, was a, that was a dumb play. <laughs> this lady has hecked me. Well, you've upset me now, lady. So guess what? It is time to bring out the Dumbo. And I do believe that if we Dynamax here, we'll be set up pretty nicely. So let's see how we look absolutely massive here. Finally, Dynamax and something different. You can actually see the sky in this place, which is cool. Oh, yeah. We are even bigger than we were before, which is insane. So we're using this a turn early, because I'm expecting Heavy Slam to knock this thing out. Then we'll have two turns against whatever her last Pokemon is. And it's still fat. Why are you still going faster? Fuck, don't flinch, please, Dyn uh, Thank, Thank God. If we flinched there, we would have wasted a turn. Yo, that animation was nuts. Just get absolutely skewered by some spikes. We actually do get a defense boost from that as well. Which is cool. So down goes the Togekiss. And one is left. Dumbug grows to 36. Chiding 37. Barney 34. Nice. Last but not least is an Alchemy. So we shall stay in. Alchemy, huh? Is this um Is this the evolved form of Milky Boy? I think it actually is. We have not seen Alchemy yet. Level 38. Um, this is a Pokemon that we were introduced to before the game came out, so I'm familiar with it. Are you, pre are you prepared? I'm going to have some fun with this. Oh my god, that is the scariest thing I've ever seen. Uh, so this thing does actually have a Gigamax form, and we might have a little bit of trouble with this, actually. So, it's going to turn into a massive birthday cake. <laughs> oh my god, look at this thing. That is a Pokemon. Wow, well... You lack pink. Here, let us give you some. Oh, God, I'm scared. I should not be this scared right now. I'm going to go for G-Max Finale? Oh, God, what, what is this? 
Oh, it did nothing. We're fine. We are Gucci. Let's see how you like a max steel spike, you damn cake. Ooh, almost knocks it out in one hit. We used to have one turn left of Dynamax. And we're going to grab ourselves another defense boost. So, yo, you cannot heck with Dumbo. Gonna just go for G Max finale yet, a, yet again, which is fine. We are gonna be able to live, even though your animation is epic as hell. But yo, what the hell just happened? You just heal now? Okay, so it does heal from that move. It just didn't the first time because it was already at full health. But one more steel spike is gonna do the trick. Down goes your Alchemy. Very interesting Pokemon. I think there is actually a ton of different forms for that thing, which we have yet to see, but. We have done it. Another gym down. And now we shall shrink, because that's going to end our, our Dynamax turns, but just in time. Gym leader has been defeated. She spooks. Your pink is still lacking, but you're an excellent trainer with some excellent Pokemon. I can't believe that question. She's like, what's my favorite color? You always mention pink. She just likes to see it in other people. And yes, the time has come. Freaking finally, we've been waiting so long for this. Tootsie is going to evolve. We're getting ourselves a Carbonite. And now the team is in full form. Check this bad boy out. Such a cool design. I really love this thing a lot. This is Corviknight. So, add that data. It is a flying steel type. Reigns supreme in the skies of Galar region. The black luster of its steel body could drive, ter drive terror into the heart of any foe. Totally just burped mid-sentence. And then that, that, that's fine. All right. Try to learn Steel Wing. This is actually good for us because now we get a nice little steel stab. Uh, let's just get rid of Leer. So, this kind of puts us in a position where now we have two Steel-type Pokemon, which, you know, is not, not the best idea, but we're going to keep Corviknight around for a while. We've worked so hard. This is one of our first catches, so we had to keep him around for a while. All right. What do you got to say to me now? Do we have to shake your hand, too, or am I going to break you? Not bad, not bad at all. Still, not what I'm looking for. Don't worry yourself about it, kid. Uh, child, actually. Just a matter of my preference. So, apparently, we're not good enough to be the new freaking gym leader. Too bad about the audition, but here's a fairy badge for your efforts. So, we snag ourselves a fairy badge. We do get a nice little shaky shake. And we are filling out our little circle. Hell yeah. More than halfway there. You can now catch Pokemon up to level 45. Take this TM with you, too. It is Draining Kiss, which is a decent fairy move, so thank you for that. I'm bummed out she didn't have the max or the, the fully evolved form of Impidimp, but it's fine. Also get ourselves a fairy uniform. And uh, maybe now we got some pink for her. Of course, it's not good to neglect your elders, but old folk like me should also know when it's time to step out of the spotlight. So is she going to freaking retire right here and right now? Got ourselves a TM. Next gym awaits, you, wait, waits for you in Sir Chester. Well, very interesting. That was a, uh, that was a, a great episode. We did a lot. Went through the coolest forest ever, and also got ourselves a new gym badge. So, with that, we are going to end the episode here. Next time, we're going to head to a new city yet again. We're just flying through the cities. Don't forget to hit that like button on the video if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.